I mean, what I what I was talking about is true. Was the reveal trailer for the newest fighter in the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate game, Pyra and Mithra? They originally appeared in the Xenoblade Chronicles I am Liam Mullet in the press. Two in one ally. Please look forward XD, to shut up, their XD. moveset in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Uh. This fighter releases in March, so we hope you'll stay tuned just a bit longer. All right, let's. I will ungift the gift of sub. I got liar. Nintendo Switch headlines. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I apologize. Oh, oh, dude. I'm so sad about this game. This game was actually so fun and so hype. I really enjoyed my time with Fall Guys, but like the absolute glacial pace at which they release content, which is, uh, I feel, oh uh, God, dude. The thing is, Among Us also released at a glacial pace, but it had like, you know, it has a mod scene. Like, uh, what's interesting about this, about Among Us is like the collaborations between different content creators. Not so much in Fall Guys. It did have a banger soundtrack though. Stumble toward greatness when Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout comes to the Nintendo Switch system summer 2021. Mm -hmm. All right, first announcement. You Very have boring. Two minutes before the solar system is destroyed. I feel like this is also a port. Outer Wilds, yes, this is a port. Venture into the vast reaches of space to uncover the. Shout out to Auto, dude. Seriously, you made the game like you you revitalized the game in a way minutes. that After few that, games have been revitalized the and, by the mod scene. And the solar system will be annihilated. However, everything will reset, allowing you to continue exploring while retaining information you gathered. Wait, did I did I F cycles, mini F? Okay, I'm back. Okay, gradually cool. unravel the mysteries hidden in the universe. What messages will you discover? How can you prevent the sun from exploding? Why is the solar system trapped in an endless time loop? I heard this game's really good. When the critically acclaimed Outer Wilds launches on Nintendo Switch summer 2021. You deserve the world. Put your sleuthing skills to the test in two classic murder oh, mystery games. Anime, ill. No one likes Detective anime, Club, right, guys? Am I right? Famicom Detective Club. The Manny Don, Manny Don, I appreciate it. Think of the kind of words. Deep cuts from Nintendo history are coming to North America for the first time. Localized in English and modernized for the Nintendo Switch system. Suspense, drama, and twists and turns await at every corner. You'll be on the edge of your seat as you dive into these deep narratives set in Japan. In one game, you'll solve a complex murder case surrounding a wealthy family in a haunted village while dealing with amnesia. But that's not the only case to crack. <sighs> You're fully dressed in Naruto merch? There's no proof. In the other game, no You'll investigate that. a supernatural rumor after a mysterious death to free students from a sinister nightmare. Interrogate suspects and hunt for clues to piece together. Oh my these god, I didn't know I was in this game. Can you figure out who the culprit is before it's too late? Uncover the deadly truth in Famicom Detective Club: The Missing Heir. Honestly, visual novel Detective style games Club, just aren't for me. I'd rather just behind. read a book. I don't Coming know why. To Nintendo Switch May 14th. Pre-orders begin today. You're a weave. There's Nintendo a lot of you and Scar talking about anime of the season. No idea what you're talking about. Come on, something interesting. The new age of battles. Oh, begins. what is this? What is this? I have. This is like Dynasty Warriors or something. Oh, this is, uh, this is, uh, uh, the samurai version. What's it called? Right? This is, the, this is, uh, samurai warriors. I was close. I was close. Is the Switch Pro a thing that, a real thing that's gonna come out? Ever, there's been a lot of evidence that, that some form of Switch Pro exists. And if it does come out, I w I'm probably gonna buy it. 
the latest entry in the Samurai Warriors franchise Wait, am I is coming to Nintendo Switch. Are we good? Mini F again? We good? Oh, no, we're effing. Okay, saved. Back, good. Oh no, wait. Uh-oh, nope. Oh wait, saved? Okay, I want like 10 seconds of stability before we start this again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's go. Dive into the history of the Sengoku period as the series now shines the spotlight on Nobunaga Oda and Mitsuhide Akechi. Oh, God, the these games look so bad. Vamped for this installment. Unleash high octane moves in electrifying one. Look, like 1, the like the, the 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 character models for the main characters look fine, but the environment and like the the plebs look really bad. Battles in Samurai Warriors Five, slashing its way onto Nintendo Switch, summer 2021. The vast world of Fadiel beckons. After 20 long years, oh, this is kind of cute. Of Mana featuring oh, this is Legend of Mana. HD graphics is coming to Nintendo Switch. Oh shit! You'll set off on a journey to find the mystical mana tree seen in a dream. Before wow, this actually doesn't look bad. Map is empty. During your travels, you'll acquire special items called artifacts. Place them on the map to bring towns, dungeons, and other lands. Dude, to honestly, life. oh god. Games it's with good pixel art, well, are just like as immortalized well as to, to me. To pixel art ages so fucking well, while 3D Join looks so bad. Each on their own like, quests. so many of the new, like the the, the, the first 3D games, look so bad. Or take a break from adventure and rest up at home. Like, look, I'm sorry, Final Fantasy VII did not age well at all, graphically speaking. Okay. For this enhanced version. I would love Moon is gonna fight me for that, but it's true. Like it just doesn't look good. Kaiju, think of the fight. I think we give this up. The to turn look, off if, if Final Fantasy VII aged well, why would they remake it? Okay. Plan. Legend of Mana will launch on Nintendo Switch June 24th. Is that what Sakuna and Ray are playing right now? Aren't they playing Valheim or something? Ooh, is this Monster Hunter? This has to be. Oh, Monster Hunter theme incoming. Oh, wait. This looks so good. I'm actually very interested in playing this. Very interested in playing this. I wonder how Selena will handle Sp because there weren't any insect monsters in Monster Hunter World, right? Head case, that's a reset for three months. I wonder how she would deal with mo like insect monsters. Well, isn't the best so far? I mean, this is this interests me the most. Legend of Mana doesn't look bad. Important news. So it's finally beginning. Twins? Oh. Go assemble the villagers. Fifty years ago. Kamura Village was attacked by the Rampage and Magnum Malo. And we suffered some devastating casualties. How can we fight against that? Our hunter is about to face the biggest challenge yet! Holy shit, what? 
That looks fun. That looks really fun. Pull yourselves together. Oh! Oh my god, that's Charge Blade? I'm fucking down! Wait, that- okay, that- hold on, that was fucking sick. I'm sorry, I need to watch that one more time. Oh wait, hold on. No. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, fucking shit, that was sick! Okay, yeah, I'm gonna try- I'm playing Charge Blade again, dude. I, I have to. That has to be Hammer, right? Well, what is happening? Watch out for the apex. Do not let it pass. The oh, they're bringing Rampage. back Apex monsters. How long Interesting. Think it's going to last? All right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm actually done. I'm super down for this. Any yeah. Monster Hunter gamers in the chat? Preparations right away. Oh. We're here to offer assistance. <laughs> We must stop the calamity! Yeah, I'm, I'm actually super done. Come on, Moon. Moon, I'm gonna kill the spiders though, okay? Okay, yeah. Uh, okay, chat. Am I... Okay. Am I stupid that I want this? Is this... Is that stupid? Or... Okay, maybe I'll just get the... Maybe I'll just get the... Okay, maybe I'll just get this. Maybe I'll just get the Pro Controller. Maybe I'll just get the Pro Controller. Like, that's not bad. I'll just- I, I think just the Pro Controller is not a bad idea. That was the latest trailer for Monster Hunter Rise from Capcom. Get it all! Get it all! Fuck taxes, Peter! Get another Switch even though you have three! Come on, guys. I don't need a fourth switch. How will our heroes fare against these ferocious monsters? Okay, 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 you're three question marking me, okay? I bought the first ever switch that came out, okay? Uh, and then I bought the Animal Crossing uh, Special Edition. And then Leslie, for my birthday, bought me a Switch Lite. So I have three. I'm actually planning on giving my old switch to Miyoung for her to just keep. Yeah. Stay tuned for the latest in that, that sounds more reasonable, right? Because I wanted the, the the Animal Crossing Special Edition was super cute. Uh, but I was just I was just gonna give my old switch to Miyoung so she could just keep it. And then Leslie gave me the Switch Lite as a gift. In the Monster Hunter series, launching March. You need 26th. five! Thanks, man. Oh, that's real. Next. Nice. And Randall, right this. He's spending on the one hundred percent chance to get something instead of gacha Pepe. What's a gacha? I've never gotcha in my life. Once again. Oh, oh my god, please. Oh, I'm so sad. Oh, that's real nice. Dude, please. Can you, can you just give us back the Mario Golf RPG? Please. I beg of you. Oh my god. The 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 Mario Golf Advance game? I forgot that was called. Advance Tour. This was one of my favorite fucking games on the Game Boy Advance. This had to be ha, this had to have been one of my most played games on the Game Boy Advance, dude. All right. Latest installment of the Mario Golf series coming to Nintendo Switch. Like Start Nintendo is so bad at sports games now. Take your time to think. They're so through. bad at sports games now. I don't then know what the fuck slay. happened. Enjoy golfing with familiar Mushroom Kingdom characters on courses filled with lush, natural scenery. The last good golf game I played was Golf Story. Use features on that the game was not bad at like all. Like a shot gauge to see how your shot will curve due to slopes, and a scan that lets you examine. A I like the RPG terrain. element though. These features can help you ace your shots. It honestly doesn't look bad though. In addition to button controls, you can also use motion controls by holding a Joy-Con controller <laughs> like a golf okay, club. Okay, that's incredible. That honestly Generally might be worth that might be worth the gimmick. If this is like if this has like local game. multiplayer, I'm kind of down. But like it might be just like a fun thing to do. <laughs> On top of all that, there are several modes with new elements that truly bring the heat to Mario Golf. Okay, you know what's fucking stupid? Um, why did they? What happened to Wii Sports? Like, why did they not just Wii Sports again? Like, why? Like, <sighs> sorry. Bring this one, Speed Golf. Here, it's always your turn. Everyone tees off at the same time, then you'll race through the course to reach your ball. 
Give it another whack to get it closer to the hole. Then okay. keep going. Outpace your opponents to come out on top. Your golfing skills aren't the only things at play. Make like the closest thing to it was like one two switch, and I feel like they could have the done way better than one two switch, man. Oh, did we mention story mode? As a me character, <gasps> you'll start out as no, a rookie and develop not as your a golfing me. skills. while interacting with various Mushroom Kingdom characters. Level up with experience points earned during matches. Oh, then oh don't even, don't look stats, back at me, dude. Allowing don't you look to back at me. Your character however oh, you'd like. Jaybird, since you're for five months. You're me in versus play. Put your golfing skills to the test when Mario Golf Super Rush swings onto Nintendo Switch June 25th. Pre okay, okay, chat, maybe I'm stupid, but I actually really like the fact that they made characters specifically for Mario Golf uh, Advanced Tour. Like, I actually really like the characters that they made for it. You know? I, I really like these characters. I, I, I wish they would just do more of that. I don't know, man. <sighs> Orders begin on Nintendo eShop after this presentation. The latest game in the Mario Golf series adds new gameplay for multiplayer modes, as well as the familiar golf game. I mean, I'm still like interested in this. I do like golf games. Hmm. Please look forward to this game on Nintendo Switch. Let's move on to more Nintendo Switch headlines. Check out these games coming to Nintendo Switch. Okay, that's what we've been doing this entire- Return to the unforgiving world of Pandora in Tales from the- I'm skipping. Borderland. Narrative. Switch. Beat or dip- Wait, what is this? Arcade classics are coming to Nintendo Switch. Rewind gameplay, adjust game speed or difficulty, and select from a variety of display options to relive. I mean, this is like kind of cool games. if you're into retro games. That's 1943, the Battle nice. of Midway for free. Then I don't, game I don't really like these old games Goblin enough to like actually want this collection. Oh, this is kind of cool. Street Fighter 2? I play a lot of Street Fighter 2 with my brothers going out. Later today. Yeah, I just don't, I don't have enough uh, nostalgia for it. As a zombie, you just can't get enough of it. In this action game from Aspire, you'll build your zombie horde and take revenge on the city by turning humans into your undead allies. Replenish your bodily arsenal of sputum head, gut grenades, and more during your grisly mission. This city ain't no match for a dead man. Begin today on Nintendo eShop. Wait, is this the same Nintendo fucking Switch, game? March 16th. Pre-orders zombie and rebel without a pulse. It's the same fucking game. Yeah. Okay. Next one. It's Travis Touchdown versus Assassins. Wait, aliens? Aliens have invaded Earth. Hold up, is this even the right game? Anyway, after annihilating an entire city, the aliens have taken over and now host an intergalactic. I don't care for uh, side Earth the series. As the crass beam katana wielding assassin Travis Touchdown, I I, I, I just don't care for the series at all. I don't, I don't care for uh, no more heroes. Hey hey hey! Not so fast. Game. To enter each boss fight, you'll have to do some. That's what Travis is from, right? No more heroes. Enough to pay off the entry fee. You'll then face is it a good series? I just I just never had any power. interest in it. Most of them aliens with some crazy tricks. Up I know the people who liked it really liked it though. Study their tactics carefully to gain the upper hand in combat. With a new and improved death glove, you'll have access to a variety of deadly skills that can be customized and upgraded before each match. Yeah, like the this just a, does not interest me at all. So get ready to kick some uh, whatever aliens have that you can kick. Anyway, it'll all make sense when No More Heroes 3 lands on Earth. Or, oh, this is know, just straight up No More Heroes 3. Switch. August 27th. It almost felt like a spinoff. Okay. Exterminate demons in he heaven. I hate this narrator guy. Too much. I'm cringing. As above, so below. Neon white. Why do they need assassins in heaven? <laughs> to do someone's dirty work. Okay, this 
is epic. Alistair, in the interim of two months, approved cargo, they're prime for three months. Yoshi's in 100 bits. J Ruse in the reset for five months. Harpy Oil in the 300 bits. God's judgment has nothing to do with it. I don't think I would have ever been able to guess what kind of game this was but off the art. It's, so this is like a... Like on the rail Uncovered shooter? Heaven's Mysteries in Neon White, coming to Nintendo Switch, Winter 2021. With cards? The DC Superhero Girls are here to save the day. Yes! Hi everyone, my I'm, name's Barbara Gordon. I'm ready to be saved! DC AKA Superhero Batman. Girls Team Power! I'm always inventing new gadgets to fight crime, like my batarangs and backup. This is Supergirl. She's super strong and has heat. Dude, she just fucking killed those people with a bus. And what the fuck? Wonder Woman. And she Amazonian literally just checked the puzzle and she just killed those people. Oh, oh my god. The real G fishing is a reason for eight months. Connor has been giving a sub. Uh, Approve Connor the Prime. Just about the super life. We also have our school lives. And trust me, there's never a dull moment at Metropolis High School. Wait, isn't that Harley Quinn? Sometimes isn't nice do, to do you go to school with a mass murderer? Shopping downtown with my besties. Ooh, maybe take some photos to share on super style posts while we're at it. Hey, hey, I got a comment already. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop being such a fucking schmub about this whole thing. I hope this game is really good for whoever it's like targeted towards, which is what seems to be like preteen teen girls, like or like younger even. Uh, I I hope that whoever like whoever this demographic this is for, like I hope they enjoy this game. This actually doesn't look like a bad game. For that demographic, it's just like, like this is clearly just not for me, you know. Ooh, and I definitely want to hit up Sweet Justice later. Uh oh. Something oh, never mind, never mind. This this game is like <laughs> this game turns you into an influencer. What a fucking mistake. Never mind. Oh god, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. This is a horrible, horrible game. <laughs> horrible candy. No one could have seen it. What a horrible what influence you have on children. Count on us to answer, no matter what. Just gotta make sure no one figures out our secret identities. Kind of a banger DC soundtrack, Super though. Superhero Girls Teen Power heroically sourced onto Nintendo Switch June 4th. Ready the juice cannons and prepare for battle. Oh, is this Plants vs. Zombies? Oh, no, no. Oh, this! Isn't this game like a. Is this Plants vs. Zombies too? Or like. Yeah. This is a shooter, right? Yeah, this is a shooter. I actually really remember liking this shooter. I actually remember loving the shooter. It's just no one really played it. I remember liking this game a lot, actually. But like, you know, most port, like most online multiplayer ports for Switch are usually fucking trash. So I don't have any, you know, I'm not excited for this at all. Nut. Idea to take that. Who will join you in your adventure? Oh! Wait, if this is what I think this is, I love this for the Nintendo DS. Is this the like the 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 the? Oh fuck! The what's it called? The pass? The deep? The DS pass? Shit! Fuck! I forgot the game is called. He won can. Band together on a quest to face oh, it's evil and save oh, faces. Street Pass. There was like a Mitopia Street Pass RPG. Nintendo Switch. Also, Cast Nintendo getting rid of Switch. Uh, get, Nintendo getting rid of uh, what's it called? Street Pass on the Switch was 
so stupid. Characters in various roles across the kingdom. Turn your favorite people into your allies, or even make someone the nefarious Dark Lord. The <laughs> Dark Lord Stan. Make yeah, fuck you, Stan. In this game. Any stands in the chat? Ram fuck you. Get them ready for adventure. There's also a new wig feature, letting you go wild with your me creations and make them even more fabulous. Oh my god. In the world of Metopia, relationships. I just, are I just really don't like how me's look, dude. I just don't like having them as avatars is fine. Basing games around me's is like, I fucking hate that. So consider spending some quality time with allies to strengthen bonds. They just, they just this fucked. Give you an they just fucked during battle. If your relationship sour, though, things might take a turn for the worse. Whoa! You can have a horse as an ally? That sounds pretty bad. Okay, that is. That's so fucked up. Whoa! <laughs> this you, horse comes you can along. Have a horse as an ally? So one guy rides the horse, and the rest of the people are like, yeah, fuck those guys. You can run with the horse, you dumb bitches. <laughs> like, what the that fuck? That sounds pretty darn good. Okay, dude. Never mind. I'm, I'm not even going to say it. Care for it, and it'll lend a hand, or poof, in battle. Venture with friends and familiar faces in the lighthearted romp, Metopia. Coming to Nintendo Switch May 21st. I'm sure someone will like today this. Today on Nintendo eShop. <laughs> oh god, I'm yawning so much. I think three hours of sleep is really getting to me. Please be something of interest. Super Mario theme. Oh so shit! Oh shit! Sorry. Our city safe. Keep it. Wait, what? Hold on. There we go. Then. Super Mario Brothers 35th anniversary themed items are coming to the Animal Crossing New Horizons game. Familiar items like the Super Mushroom and the Question Block can be ordered in-game as furniture items. So place them however and wherever you'd like. Ooh, that's you pretty can cool. Also place two warp pipes. Oh wait, this is actually hella convenient. <laughs> then use them to travel between locations on your island. It's a shame that this hey, doesn't exist when we everyone was actually the playing the game. Kingdom. Sim 1CB, think the problem. Do you guys, do any of you guys actually play Animal Crossing still? I remember the, game the Animal February Crossing 25th. meta. It was so fun. After downloading it, Super Mario Brothers items will be available via Nook Shopping starting March 1st. That's cool. I mean, that's it's cool that they're still like adding Keep content to the game. the official Animal Crossing Twitter account for the latest information. I never finished my aquarium, which makes me a little sad. That's my, like my favorite thing to do, Animal Crossing. Just... Get finish my current. Hope you continue enjoying life on your island. You played it because girls played it, right, Peter? No, I legitimately like Animal Crossing. How was that? I, New Leaf was These one of my favorite games on the DS. I don't think you have to be a girl to like Mario Animal Crossing. Uh, Mochi Buns is a reset for five months. Please wait a bit longer for their release. The Peter Sunfish? Oh, God, you remember that, Commando? Last week, we had the global launch for the Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury game. Ooh, good game. I hope you enjoy that Mario adventure as well. Next, we have another game to show you. Oh? Bayonetta? I would love the hot pizza. Oh no, this is this is an RPG. What is this? It's not it's not Fire Emblem. It doesn't look like Fire Emblem. Oh, that's real nice. Love you, Dad. This gives me really strong, um... Oh yeah, it gives me really strong vibes from that one game. What's it called? Octopath. Crimes today. Are these the wages of loyalty? Raised earth and burnt corpses. You and no other... God, Octopath is so beautiful, but like, I was... Uh, it was too slow for me. You are a leader, and must be the beacon others look to when the night is darkest. Together with these fields, today you burn. I that was cool. to do all in my power to see us through this safely, every last one of us. What the fuck is this name? Project Triangle Strategy? What the fuck? 
This name must sound so cool in Japanese, and when they translate it to English, it's like the most stupid fucking thing. Far, far away lies the continent of Norzilia, comprised of three nations and limited deposits of salt and iron. The constant feuds among the nations over these precious resources eventually ignited into a great conflict known as the Oh, it's working title? War. Okay, God, thank God. Though the hostilities ceased with an uneasy truce, decades oh, later... Oh, come on. <laughs> Salt Iron War. Okay, fine. The flames fine. of war threatened to engulf the realm once again. You are all that remain. Caught in a tangled, fiery web of plots and conspiracies, a brave group from Glenbrook fights to save their kingdom from the powers that would orchestrate their downfall. Our benefit, you say? Ah! <laughs> oh, what the fuck? In this new tactical RPG... Uh, oh, it's a tactics right. RPG! Okay. That sounds like a name where three people had to come up with a name and they couldn't... Consider my interest peaked. This does remind me of Tactics Ogre a bit. Take place on terrain with different elevations. A character's attack range is determined by their location and their equipped weapon. The range can be extended by attacking I do from like tactics games a lot. long range weapons, such as bows and arrows. Thus, your forces can use the terrain and other elements to gain It looks cool. It like hand. uses the graphical style of Octopath for for uh, a tactics game. To your initial attack, but also a powerful blow from the ally positioned behind the enemy. What have we here? Nice. Charge into an enemy to send them flying into position for a follow-up attack. We win. Link this game is gorgeous, by actually. First casting ice magic on the flames to create water terrain. Then the electrify the area with lightning magic. Oh, that's pretty cool. Wait, that's actually awesome. It is of the utmost importance to survey the battlefield before taking action. Dude, this actually looks dope. It's probably the best thing I've seen. Throughout the story, you will be faced with making important decisions in a variety of situations. Utility, morality, liberty. Collectively, your decisions will establish your conviction, affecting how the story unfolds and who That's cool. will join your cause. I like the art style a lot, actually. Once more, I would ask you plainly. Do we or don't we relinquish Prince Roland to Estrost? Critical decisions that may determine the fates of nations are settled by vote on the scales of conviction. Use information Ooh. you've gathered to sway allies toward your favored cause. Oh. The story will significantly change based on how the votes are cast. So they refuse to relinquish him to us. Lies! His hand was forced! As more and more critical decisions are made, your journey may take you down paths. Sorry, I'm like really tired. From those I'm definitely taking a nap after this. You will see what true might is. Project Triangle Strategy. <laughs> I know it's a working title, but goddamn, they could not think of like a worse fucking working title. 2022. Please be on the 2022. Oh wait, that's next year. In the future. After this presentation, a demo right, we're, in, we're currently in the year of our Lord 2021. To on Nintendo eShop, and in the future, we'll conduct a survey to gather player feedback. We look forward Dude, it's to hearing your responses. Like halfway through, over halfway through demo. February. Please look forward to future updates on this brand new tactical RPG from Square Enix. Okay, let's see a few more Nintendo Switch headlines. Please be good, please be good, please be good. Calling all hunters. Do you have what it takes? Is that a stormtrooper? Is this the Star Wars? Is this like a bounty hunter game? I'm interested. I'm interested. Wait, it's it's by Zynga. Okay, GG. Never mind. It's a free-to-play game with uh, microtransactions. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Star dude. Wars Hunters is a competitive free-to-play free online game set between episodes <laughs> six and seven. Clash in this third-person shooter coming to Nintendo Switch in 2021. 
All right, let's do this. All right, Sally. Hmm. Do I look at you or the camera? Knockout City interviews, take one. We all play for different reasons. Hmm. Gorgon love battle. Gorgon use many weapons. Triple-bladed war axe, spear of misery, Hades soul-devouring crossbow. A princess is supposed to lead her people, not be stuck up in some tower waiting for a hero. My line of oh, work. speaking of Rage Hell Legends, guys, I accepted, uh, or like, I might have an upcoming opportunity to play Raid on stream. So, Raid Shadow Legends! Raid Shadow Legends! Also, I'm gonna add like milestones for the sponsors so that if we hit them, I'm, I'm just gonna give the shit ton of subs. So, yeah. Well, it's constantly whizzing past you. Flaming Longsword, Blade of Doom. Just once. Just once I'd like to catch one of them bullets. You know, with my, my ear holes, with you fuck. Crown, Are you new here? I'm gonna lead my team to victory and kick some serious ass. <laughs> Look, it's simple. Gorgon want new weapon. In Knockout City, I'm like a Kung Fu master. I can catch bullets. This is dodgeball. All of that was to just show us fucking battle royale dodgeball. <laughs> It's literally Battle Royale Dodgeball. Oh my god, okay, sure. This better be the freest of plays, dude. Let's find out what sound your face makes. Be the ball. Be the ball. Catch me. Roger that. They may have won the battle, but not the war. Uh, uh, hey, can we redesign our characters? You're not a team if you're not wearing a uniform. Max, this is a war zone, not a bloody fashion show. Pass to me. What? Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This actually looks kind of fun. <laughs> If this was a if this was a PC, I would I would actually be kind of down to try it. Like this doesn't look bad. It actually, it looks kind of fun. This commercial is hella cringe, but like it doesn't look like a, it looks like an okay time. It doesn't look bad. The fight for survival starts this now. This is another visual novel. Hang on tight. Cause yep. you're all going to play a little game of fate for me. From the creators of the Danganronpa and yep. Zero Escape series comes a fight for your life, literally. Disoriented and trapped in an underwater theme park, the 12 of you, known as the Go-Getters Club, must now survive this game of fate at all costs. I don't want to die yet! Wait, is this... Scare you all these children, do they die? The game is cancelled! The game is suddenly called off. You escape the theme park and get a glimpse of Japan, but everyone's vanished. What? Set off on a captivating what? journey across the country Wait, that what? blends side-scrolling action with what? suspenseful narrative. I got you baited. As you make your way back home to Tokyo, you'll alternate between working solo and teaming up with the group to overcome challenges and monsters that stand in your way. What awaits you all at the end of your journey? The battle for survival begins in World's End Club, venturing onto Nintendo Switch, May 28th. Uh, I thought the setting was cool. An underwater, abandoned the underwater Olympus, theme park. That seems sick. Okay, I mean Hades is cool. Hades, Hades is a, the critically acclaimed dungeon. If you haven't played Hades, play Hades. Hades is a good game. game. Hades Euro is a good Wars. fucking game. Is getting a physical release on Nintendo Switch. This is this okay. This is announcing a physical release for the game. Dude, it comes with a cup please. Code for the Hades original sound. Okay, cool. No is a 32-page full-color character compendium featuring portraits of the game's vibrant cast of gods. Okay. Not forget the it's like an announcement for the physical version of the game. The underworld. Okay, sure. Three deadly action games, one masterful it, collection. Is that Ninja Gaiden? Ninja Gaiden Sigma, Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2, and Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge are coming to Nintendo Switch as the action packed. Ninja I remember Gaiden these games being hard as fuck. 
You are the legendary These games are old as fuck, though, too. Fighting against a great evil with battle skills that are second to none. Wield an arsenal of killer weapons. How do I remember this? I mean, my, I remember my brothers playing this on... I think it was Dreamcast, actually. These games are old as fuck, though. Quickly gauge your opponent's movements while unleashing fast and frenzied combos. And team up with other super ninjas in your quest to fulfill your destiny. Dude, they're all girls! All My man, let's go! You down for the scuff? <laughs> the scuff podcast by Hayabusa? Revel in the intensity of Ninja Gaiden in one dynamic collection. Ninja Gaiden Master Collection slices its way onto Nintendo Switch. I mean, it's kind of cool. It's a lot of ports, though. More battles are coming to Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. I'm going to fall asleep. I mean, I'm sure I'm sure Hy Hyrule Warriors is cool for whoever likes Hyrule Warriors, but it's just I just don't care. Hmm. Oh. Oh, at least it was short. 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 That's not too bad. Okay, next up. Cool shit. There's even more coming to Nintendo Switch. Okay, it has to be hype because there's no title card. Bravely Default 2 is almost here. Four <sighs> Heroes of Light will soon embark. Dude, I just don't like the character models in Bravely Default 2. I think the graphics Use are cool. I just hate how their faces look. And master the brave and default commands to emerge victorious in turn-based battles. Like something about the texture like, just looks Veterans really weird. No, this is not a part. Bravely, de Bravely Default 2 is a brand new game. 26. A new trailer for Bravely Default 2 will be revealed following this presentation. The game can be pre-ordered on Nintendo eShop. An updated demo is also available. Yeah, something about the textures of the skin looks really weird. This installment in the legendary Ghosts and Goblins series comes to life. As the brave knight Arthur, you'll unleash weapons, spells, and skills to battle monsters across challenging stages within the demon realm. Local co-op play is also available for the first time. Help Arthur in his quest with one of three supporting characters. Okay. Carry for defense, carry for transportation, or Archie for bridges. Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection launches February 25th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Eight protagonists, eight captivating journeys. Oh, fucking Saga remaster. Frontier has been oh. remastered for Nintendo Switch. Travel through a stunning sci-fi world with any of the protagonists, each with their own stories. With the addition of the playable protagonist Fuse, new gameplay features, exhilarating battles, and a new scenario for the protagonist Acellus, Saga Frontier Remastered is an adventure not to be missed. The game launches April 15th. Apex Legends is storming onto the Nintendo Switch system. This free-to-play battle royale features a growing roster of powerful contenders named Legends, strategic combat, cross-platform play, and more. All players on Nintendo Switch can get an all-new Legendary Yo, Pathfinder see, they they reset the prime for six months. and 30 free levels for the Season 8 Mayhem Battle Pass. Plus, for the first two weeks after launch, earn double XP when you play on Nintendo Switch. Fight for fortune, fame, and glory when Apex Legends enters the fray March 9th. How's it going so far? There's still a little bit more to I'm show dying inside. In today's I am dying, direct. sir. So we please, hope you'll stick with it. Just a morsel, a Next, crumb of something interesting. Take a look at this. A crumb! Okay, this has to be hype. Hello there. I'm A.G. Aonuma, producer of the Legend oh, of Zelda Oh, Breath of the Wild 2! Breath of the Wild 2! I'm sure a lot of you saw me and thought there might be news Breath of the Wild 2 to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game. Unfortunately, we don't have anything to share right now. We apologize. Development is proceeding smoothly, and we should be able to bring you some new information this year. For now, we'll have to ask you to wait just a bit longer. Don't talk to me. While you're all waiting, however, <gasps> this Legend of Zelda game will be coming to Nintendo Switch. Please take a look. Okay. Please don't be a remaster. Please don't be... Is this Skyward Sword? I never played Skyward Sword.
What did they? What did they do to his face? What? What did they? What, what happened to his face? What is it? Did he look like that? I'm not Zelda. No, 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 no. No, no, I don't know. Who the fuck is this? Who the fuck is this? What? Yeah. This game looks awful. Am I crazy? Why does why does Wind Wind Waker look so much better than this game? Wind Waker is an older game, am I correct? Is, is Wind Waker is an older cr game, correct? Like S Skyward Sword came out after Wind Waker, right? Like why does this game look so much worse than Wind Waker? <laughs> Wait, didn't this game come out after um, the other one too with the wolf? What's that one called? I forgot what it was called. Zelda. Oh, fuck, what's that game called? Twilight Princess? Didn't this come out after Twilight Princess 2? Why does this game look so much worse than both those games? Am, or am I like miss, am I like selective memory? I'm sorry, what? No, that's not okay. That's not okay. This is not okay. What? Uh. Fuck, dude. Jesus Christ. What you've just seen is The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. <laughs> this game originally released in 2011 on the Wii Con. Guys, I beg of you, please, do me this one thing, okay? Please, just remaster. You don't even have to remaster. Just bring back the Me Mega Man Battle Network series. Please, just bring back the Mega Man. I will literally buy all the Mega Man Battle Network games. Just re-release them on Switch, please. While you're at it, please release Golden Sun 1 and 2 on Switch as well. Please. Please. Oh god. Console, and now it's coming to Nintendo oh, Switch. That's real nice. The Legend of Zelda it's Skyward Sword huge featured huge a control point. scheme in which players would use the Wii Remote Plus controller as a sword and the Nunchuck controller as a shield. With the increased processing power of the Nintendo Switch system, the controls here are smoother and even more intuitive. And we've recreated the controls for the sword and the Dude, shield. Dude, did that thing have like gigantic nipples or just intuitive. Oh my god. That's all I can focus on. Look how big those nips are. Holy shit. And we've recreated the controls for the sword and the shield here by having Oh the my god, there's only like There's not that much time. There's like 5 minutes left. The there's like 10 minutes left in this right direct, bro. Oh my god. Swing it to have Link swing his sword in the game. The Joy-Con controller in your left hand is the shield. By lifting the controller, you can raise the shield to block enemy attacks. This is kind of cool. I mean, this is kind of cool. You can perform other actions like using both controllers to wield a bow and arrow. This game These is hideous, though. Add a sense of urgency and tension to combat. But we've also made it possible to play the game with button controls to ensure it can be played in handheld mode or on the Nintendo Switch. Oh, thank God. After mulling over how to assign different gameplay elements to different buttons, we decided to apply the sword motions to tilting the right control stick. <sighs> Tilt the stick down when you want to swing the sword downward. To swing to the right, to the Wait, left. Wait, you're telling me they just they didn't have this as an option? Wait, what? Are you telling me that you could what? Like, would you like What? Why are they making this sound like this is new? Is this new? Did you have to do motion controls? Oh my god!
Oh! I just had three aneurysms at the same time. What? Or diagonally, just tilt the stick in the respective direction. Here's something else we've been working on. <laughs> oh my god. Specially designed joy Oh, that's me. Think the hundred bits, by the way. The this right looks cool. Okay, I'm sorry. Is that the... that is. Uh, the, I love this. Sorry. I know. I. Uh, th th this shit is like. I'm the target demographic for this shit. This looks. I. This is beautiful. Okay. Fuck. F fuck. Themed after the Master Sword, while the left features a Hylian shield motif. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. That looks cool. I like it. Earliest story in the Legend of Zelda timeline details the events. You know, man, this is for 50 months, man. I appreciate it. itself. We hope that people who played the original game on Wii and those playing it for the first time will enjoy discovering. God, the I'm more of excited the for the Zelda. peripherals announced in this fucking in this direct more than the games, man. Holy. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. HD I am depression, dude. July 16th. Following this Nintendo Direct, you'll be able to pre-order the game on Nintendo eShop. And the specially designed Joy-Con controllers will launch on the game's release date at your local retailers. Oh, okay, Many never mind. You there's no, know this, but there's the no way I'm getting Zelda those. Skyward Sword was the last original console oh, game prior to The Legend nice. of Zelda Breath of the Wild game, and will it was still following Nintendo the established Switch conventions of The Legend of Zelda. However, it gave a glimpse into many features right now, and innovations that would eventually be adopted in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Shut up. Using the sailcloth to descend in midair, a stamina gauge that depleted as you scaled walls with vines or ran. Even the concept of collecting items to upgrade gear. I hope those of you who've played The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild will give this game a try as well. <laughs> I like how they're like, look, <laughs> dude, Nintendo is basically like, look, we know that there's a game that has mechanics similar to the ones in Skyward Sword, and that game is just a hunt, like, just better. But please try this game, please. Like, we know that Breath of the Wild exists and is just straight up a better game, but please play this game, please, please. We have controllers. Oh, yeah. Good. Saved. Saved. Okay, cool. Please look forward to the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Well, what did you think? The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword has been optimized for Nintendo Switch. It includes intuitive motion controls Six and minutes button left. controls by Six minutes left. the right control stick. Okay, the next game. I'm just impressed with that orc's titty physics, man. Today. Please take a look at this. Okay. Bayonetta? What is this? Not Star Fox. Don't be Borderlands, please. No, it can't be Borderlands. <gasps> Splatoon 3?! Holy shit! Wait! Wait! Forgetful Duckling, they're the the subs! Wait, I'm fucking down. I love the Splatoon series. What the fuck is that? That's a bow? What? Is this like Splatoon in the world of Borderlands? It feels like there's, there's like a more fleshed out story. I actually really like the campaign for Splatoon 2. This straight up feels like Borderlands to me. This whole vibe is Borderlands. Okay, that guy on the left is me. Okay.
I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. I mean, Splatoon was a great game, so I'm down. Okay, as long as, as long as their fucking matchmaking isn't atrocious like Splatoon 2 and they got, get rid of the cheaters, I'm fucking down. Mortem of Tenebris. Thanks for reset with the tier 3 for 10 months. What you've just seen is the latest installment in the Splatoon series, Splatoon 3. I'm kidding, this I'm kidding. This game is scheduled to launch in 2022, <sighs> so it'll be a while. We hope you stay tuned for more information at a later time. Today, we showed you a sampling of games coming to Nintendo Switch. Okay, there is still like a variety of games three minutes left. There, there has to be a, a, a last minute announcement. And we look forward to sharing more There's a last minute announcement. The that's all There's for today's Nintendo Direct. No, no. Thank you for watching. No, nope, not falling for it. Not falling for it. There's one more thing. Let's look at the game release cycle for this year. Uh, 2021 game releases. Wow, that was probably one of the more uh, underwhelming directs I've seen, like ever, I think. Um, wow, let's see. Uh, it's February now, right? Uh, February 17th? Okay. So, Persona 5 Strikers. This is the, like the, this is the, it's like the Dynasty Warriors style game, right? Okay, I mean, I don't really care for it. I don't really care about Partana. Ghosts and Goblins. Nope, Hellpoint. What the fuck is Hellpoint? I don't know what the fuck this is. Uh, Bravely Default 2. I might try it. I probably won't, though. I just don't like the art style. Harvest Moon, One World. Okay, I I mean, I'm sure Selene and, Selene and uh, Arya are fucking hyped for this game. Yakuza, not really into Yakuza. Apex, Kingdoms of Amalur. Re-Reckoning. I heard this game was actually good. Kingdoms of Amalur. Any of you guys play Kingdoms of Amalur? I heard this game was actually fun. Alright, uh... I mean, why would why else would they, like, re-release it if it wasn't at least, pop, like, somewhat popular? Uh, Mar... <laughs> well... Dude, I mean, Marvel's Avengers. Such a good game. Probably one of my favorites. Um, Monster Hunter Rise comes out next month. Okay, that's not bad. Um, wait, what is this? Kingdom Hearts 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue? What the fuck is this? Chat, you'll never believe it. Wait, what is this? It comes out for PS4, Xbox One, and PC, but not PS5 and... Wait, what? What is this? It's not Kingdom Hearts 3, it's 2.8? Why? Oh wait, never mind. it's- oh my god, never mind, just kidding. Oh my god, all the Kingdom Hearts games are coming out for P- okay guys. What if... What if I played some Kingdom Hearts on stream? Hmm. I do like a Kingdom Hearts playthrough. Kingdom Hearts 1 playthrough. Maybe not 2, but I could see myself playing 1. A little bit of 1. And then molding on the Alice in Wonderland world again. Outriders. This is a, this is a Destiny-like game, right? For... Yeah, this is like the Destiny-like game for... Yeah, yeah. But it's like mutants or some shit. 
Just go ahead, let's just hit let's just hit play. Oh, new Pokemon Snap. I'm for sure playing this game. Yeah, I mean, there's no way I'm not playing new Pokemon Snap. Uh, Anthem, because I reset up with the Prime for two months. Yeah, uh, yeah, Pokemon Snap. So maybe next month is Monster Hunter World and, or no, Monster Hunter Rise and Kingdom Hearts. April is like Pokemon Snap. May. I would uh, bust. Them. Resident Evil Village freaks me out too much. Too much. I wish, but probably not. Probably not playing Resident Evil on stream. Um, Deathloop. I just don't have a. I don't. I just don't have an interest in Biomutant. What's Biomutant? Oh, it's this game. Okay. Um, this game already came out. I think right. Mass Effect. Is Mass Effect streamable? I did play one through three. But I feel like you guys would like disagree with all my romance choices. I wonder what having sex with a Korg is like. Or not his name is not, not Korg. What are they called? I forgot. I forgot. Krogan, sorry. Uh oh, Junior is back for blood. Mario Golf, okay. Shiv oh chivalry two? What? Wait, there's a chivalry two? No, I was thinking. I was thinking Korg from. Um, I was thinking of Korg from uh, from uh, Thor Armageddon. For some reason, chivalry two. I actually really liked chivalry one. Is that wait June? Where's July? Oh, we just gave up on the rest of the list. Cool. Very cool. All right, guys, that's it for today's stream. I'm very fucking tired. I was yawning like nonstop for during during the switch, uh, the the direct. But I mean, maybe that's the direct's fault, no, not mine. But um, I'm gonna end it here. Thanks for watching the stream, guys. Thank you for the support. Thank you for everything. You guys have been in quad.